Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. This last week, Tesla released the long-awaited V10 software update that has been causing quite a stir and buzz in the Tesla community. There are a lot of features released with this update, including new UI designs, and I will not be able to go through every single one of them in this video, but I will review the big ones for you here. So if you're still waiting for this update, you know what to expect when you get it. I do want to scroll through very quickly the release notes so you can see just how much improvement Tesla is giving us in this V10 update. So Cuphead, a new game, Smart Summon, highly anticipated, Tesla Theater, also another really highly anticipated feature, Spotify, a lot of people are jumping up and down for that feature. I do not have an account, so unfortunately I cannot demonstrate this for you. Karaoke, oh, this is so much fun. I've been playing with this. Driving visualization, automatic lane change. This is really cool because now if you have the full self-driving option enabled and you do automatic lane change, it will actually tell you the position of the car that your car is going to be moving into the lane. Feeling lucky or hungry, another fun thing in navigation, map improvements, mobile app so a very important thing is along with the v10 update for your car you also need to update the tesla app on your mobile phone because you will be able to close and open just a little bit of all of your car windows to vent the air which is a very cool feature and then there are dash cam and sentry mode improvements Joe mode to quiet the chimes of the alert. If you have kids sleeping in the back, for me, I enabled it personally just so that it's not so daunting. Um, additional software update improvements, Bluetooth media improvements, application launcher, and finally driver profile enhancements. So these are all the improvements that V10 update has. And coincidentally, while I am filming this V10 video, I got a notification of another software update coming my way. And now you can see the software download feature improvement. It actually will tell you which version you're getting now. First, let me show you some of the UI design changes that's been done in this version update. So if you go to application launcher, you'll see that the call button is now here. And if you go to the music and you pull this up, you'll see now you have the karaoke as well as Spotify. So I'm going to tap in here. This is how you can log into your Spotify premium account. And if you want to do karaoke, you just come in here and you can select songs that you want to sing along with. I tried this earlier with my husband in the passenger seat. If you are driving and you're trying to play any of these songs, it will tell you on the screen, the music will come on, but the lyrics would not come on. What it will do is asking you if there is a passenger using this, and you will have to tap on that and say, yes, I do have a passenger in my car and the passenger is singing along. Then we were able to use it while driving but typically when you're driving it is not recommended that you do karaoke next let's look at the entertainment so now you can see you have netflix hulu youtube and tesla tutorials if i come to the youtube now you can binge watch all of my videos right in your car and one thing to note is if you are connected on LTE, the resolution of the video will be lower compared to when connected to Wi-Fi. So that is something to remember. And in the navigation menu, if I tap on it, you'll see the hungry and the lucky tab. So if I click on hungry, it's going to randomly select or recommend a restaurant near me giving me the information, phone number that I can tap and call directly if I need to make a reservation, and you can navigate over there 
directly. If I tap on lucky, then it's going to again randomly recommend a fun place for me to visit. So Guinness World Records Museum. Hmm, I didn't even know it was here. Maybe I should go check it out. Okay, so those are all the fun updates. What about actually driving this car around? What are some of the improvements that V10 has made? First of all, immediately after the update, when I was driving on the road, I noticed that the cameras are now recognizing lane markings a lot more accurately on the screen. It will recognize when it has dashed lines versus solid lines and double yellow lines. I really appreciate this improvement a lot because it gives a lot more clarity on screen when you're navigating around. The second feature for driving, and this is the biggest feature that a lot of people have been waiting for, is Smart Summon. Before you use this, however, make sure that you read through the release notes for Smart Summon because it explicitly tells you that you need to keep a line of sight with your car when you're doing this in a private parking lot because I have seen on the internet that people just took it out in the parking lot and it's busy, they're so excited, they started doing Smart Summon and they did not monitor the surroundings of their vehicle and their cars got hit. So Tesla did give us a warning in the release notes so that when you're seeing another car coming toward your car and maybe that driver isn't paying attention or another car is backing out of it, you need to stop that summon process so that your car will not get hit or get into an accident. But let's take a look at Smart Summon in action. Okay, so my car is back there and we will try to summon it over. Normally there would be cars in this parking lot, but because it's the weekend, people are not at work. So this is empty, which makes it an ideal location for me to test this out. So let's see. It's coming straight at me. At a girl. And this is what it looks like inside the cabin while the car is being summoned. And thirdly for driving is the auto lane change improvement where it's going to tell you the position that your car is going to switch to in the adjacent lane that you're switching to. So let's take a look at the road test. I'm on the freeway now, so let me engage autopilot and navigate on autopilot. And I will see how this lane change thing goes. This is nice. It's telling me where I am going to go into. That is pretty cool. And now you can see all the lane markings. 
like this new visualization a lot. It's detecting the lane, the solid line over there, and it's also detecting the solid line over there. And autopilot seems to be doing pretty well so far. It is pretty centered in the lane. go Tesla's new V10 software update they really have outdone themselves this year last year when I got the V9 I thought that was already incredible but wow this year I have no words for it I cannot even begin to imagine what V11 is going to be like in the next release Thank you so much Elon and the team at Tesla for listening to the customers input and making all these improvements making this car such a fun and practical one to use. I got this update when I was at work in the office. By the time I left work I essentially had a completely new car than the car that I drove in in the morning. Tesla is just doing such amazing things with their products, with their cars, that is setting them so far apart and so far ahead from everyone else out there. I hope other companies will start catching up to this so everybody can benefit. Once again, I hope you found this review and my first test of these new V10 updates helpful and informative. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Like this video, make comments down below and ask me questions. I'll do the best I can to answer all of them. Until next week, God bless you.